Hello. Recently, I was scrolling along Twitter, as I usually do, and I saw a random account repost a really cool video. It was a backrooms found footage video that seemed to be on TikTok, and I almost ignored it at first, because there's tons of found footages, and then I watched the video, and I was blown away. I dug even deeper, and I figured out there was three entire parts to this amazing found footage series for TikTok, and I could not believe that I've never seen it before in my life. This is literally some of the best VFX work I've ever seen. Not even joking. So in this video right here, I'm going to be checking it out, doing a little reaction to it, kind of analyzing it, breaking it down, and all that good stuff. I'm running out of things to say. Ah! If y'all enjoy the video, drop a like for your boy, please. Without further talking, let's get into it, shall we? So first of all, I want to go over a little bit of the backstory regarding these found footages and who created it and that kind of thing. The creator of these found footage shorts is named Josh VFX over on Twitter, and he only has like eight posts it's it's like it's a new twitter he literally has nine million followers on tiktok and his twitter is new and he only has three backrooms videos total but one has 72 million views one has 15 million views and one has 6.4 million views which means that this is the more popular series view wise than than kane pixels because kane pixels has like 50 million on youtube which i guess that's crazier because tiktok's easier to view but still that's a lot of views is what i'm trying to say i cannot get over how amazing this is i think the quality of these footage is genuinely up there with cane pixels like that's not even a joke not even like yanking your tail i think it's true i've never i mean this is insane I, 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 I. but y'all don't have to believe just me saying that let's get into the video let's react to it also leave a comment telling me if you enjoy it and if you think it's literally amazing like i do i want to see what your input is all right so this is the first part this was uploaded on tiktok and twitter tiktok first 80 million views almost let's see what it's about Got some music, hopefully it's not copyrighted. Please don't do me that way, Josh. Okay. Okay, I can see that. That's amazing. Okay, hold on, let's examine for a second before I get my channel taken down for copyright. As you can see here, just walking down to what looks like a car parking garage or something like that. Um, floor B7, yeah, definitely a garage, maybe, I don't know. But they find this door, they can see the backrooms through it. And this is also probably the first footage I've seen personally that has like, uh, the phone camera as like the video, not like a VHS old recorder. So this is gonna be interesting to see. They walk into it and look how the light changes. Look at that. It look it looks like they literally just walked into it. That is actually crazy. Oh, and the, the floor is still there. B7. Wow. Let's go. So they got hoodies on, backpacks on. Look at the shadows. Look at that. I mean, that just looks like it's okay. That was the shortest one, 20 seconds. But it looks like they're just walking around. Look at the shadow on his feet. Look how it, see, see how that literally, that shadow on my cursor, watch when his foot moves. That is the most real, wow. I'm actually just like, I'm impressed. I'm not like a blender expert or an editing expert, but look at this. It looks like he's running down a hallway in the actual back rooms, bro. Bro, try to jump scare him. You think you're funny, bro? It was just like the teaser, I guess. And it went viral. So it went, it got more parts. Now let's examine the second part see what's up. All right, so this picks up right after the first part. They're gallivanting around level zero, of course. Let's check this out. Part two. Bro is sprinting? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen how real that sounds. It sounds like they're actually walking on the carpet. Listen to that. Here, yeah, it's not echo. That That's attention to detail is crazy. This guy's really talented. Okay, the Star Spangled Banner. I gotta update her, show her where I am, you know. <laughs> Bro is dancing. Bro is tackling him. Wait, are they gonna lift the tile up? No. Bro, I I'm convinced they found the real thing. This is insane. That is actually absurd, bro. I mean, they're interacting with the environment. Ooh, lights went off. Why are we leave these lights on? You guys wanna head back? Yeah, Whoa. Honestly, that's, that's a good idea. Wait, the lighting looks crazy. Okay, it keeps getting darker. Okay, so they didn't find anything in there. A little teaser, of course. But let's examine that for a second. Oh, please don't click off. Look how they're rolling around. Look at the shadowing. It's just extremely well done. This part right here is just astounding. I've yet to see a fully, you know, interactable foul footage like this. Normally the character and the thing is behind the camera, not in front. And since this isn't CGI, like the characters aren't, it's so much more, like, I guess it's real. If that makes sense. Uh, it's not no, really. I mean, he just literally lifted a tile up. That is actually wild. And look how the lighting changes. Okay. When the lights go off, yeah. you can see the people get visibly darker in the in the corners there you guys wanna head back yeah honestly that's that's a good idea and the sound in the headphones we, wait, um, it was 
it's it sounds it's got like 360 sound that is that is wild all right let's check out the third part and uh, hopefully my yapping stops this has six million views it just got uploaded now it's pitch black oh that looks like one of the original famous images right there the image location came from they were now reviewing footage that they record on their phone that is super cool from uh, yeah, we ran from that way, right? trying to find it right i like how it's realistic too you know a rave i respect the rave they found the lights the blending looks amazing you can see the light bouncing off their, their clothes they don't stick out you know this this literally looks like they're walking in the back rooms the door's not there is this where we came from they're lost. They literally came from they just place. punched the, the wall. The door was right there. Maybe we took a wrong turn. Well, yeah, yeah. We're definitely. There's so many hallways. Here. Oh, wait, guys. There's an exit sign right down here. Don't follow the exit signs, guys. It's what are uh, you, a noob? Whoa. Okay. We got an infinite hallway. <laughs> All right. Time to go. All right. That's a lot of stuff. Right, let's go. Now, there's one more part. I guess there was four parts, maybe, uh, on his Twitter. I'm going to show you that one in a second. But let's just review this one for just a little split second. Look how when they walk in here, they have these flashlights. Look at how well the, the lighting goes for this. For that to be green screen, that is literally insanely good lighting. Insanely good VFX. Like, actually. Finally. Where's the door? I mean, this is, this is what, like, a movie of the back rooms would theoretically look like. I, in this kind of, these kind of effects. The I'm just, I'm taking it back. The door's not there. Is this where we came from? And watch yes. this guy over here. See how he hit the wall right there? It just feels so interacting. Like, you could, look at it. He just hit the wall. That's crazy. Enough of my yapping. Let's go find the last video. Okay, and here's the last video. As you can see, there is the hallway. There's like an exit back there. Uh, let's check it out. Okay. What? Wow. Just wow. I want you. I'll, I'll rewind in a second, but let's just watch through and I'll show you what I mean. That is actually horrifying, bro. I've not heard an entity sound like that. Okay, they're sleeking through the walls. Dude, the interaction with the environment makes it so real. It makes it a reality. They're hiding in a little, in a little slit. I think, did you get that? I was recording. Yeah, bro, you got it. Trust. Okay, now that we're back to the beginning, I want to show you what I mean. When this little stick figure breaks down through, watch how realistic its hair and body moves. What? Look at that right there. Do you see? Do you see that? Did you see that? It literally looks like there's an innate physical flesh and blood being right there, and the shadows. It just run down. Look at this. Look how it's interacting with the environment. The shadows, the ray tracing. The footsteps, horrifying, and that noise. It's very unique. I'm glad they didn't go with the typical like, uh, like smile or scream and stuff. I feel like a lot of found footage just kind of fall in that trap where they do the same. This was kind of like a muffled, like a, uh, it, it sounds like it hurts for it to scream. It gets a pain for it. Really enjoy that. But let's just watch this again. I love this. I love the footsteps it makes. That's very terrifying. It's like fee-fi faux foam type stuff. It's kind of slow, which I respect. And look how they slide through this wall here. Look at this. I mean, wow. That is insane. They're leaning against the wall right now. I was recording. This is the most I've ever seen somebody in a footage or a footage interact with the actual environment. Normally, they're kind of just walking through and the environment's interacting with them. These people are taking it to the environment, taking that first step, and they're actually interacting with it. This is seriously chef's kiss. Chef's kiss for editing, visual effects, and rendering. Guys, this is insane. So that was all the parts that are available currently of this short form series over on TikTok and Twitter. Go check out Josh VFX. Um, you've seen this amazing work. This is movie quality and I cannot wait to see where this goes. If you want me to react to the next parts that come out, if and when they do, just let me know in the comments. This is what it's about. I, I hope that more, more things like this come out, how it's so real and how they're actually living in the back rooms. Normally it's, it's not like, it's just them running down hallways or something. This is so real. It's people you know, CGI and, and edited and green screened into the back rooms and it made it look so real. Stuff movies are made of, guys. And I could see this being a movie, literally. So you've heard my yap and you've heard my analysis and breakdown. If you enjoyed it, leave a like for the old Brewster. He gets the Brugley stamp of approval, the, the back rooms God stamp of approval. I approve. Nothing is hiding behind like glitchy, grainy VHS effects. It is just pure iPhone camera footage with real people. This is crazy. 
it's it's viral thank you so much for watching love and appreciate y'all tell somebody to love them because life's too short not to and without further ado i'm gonna end up the video here Bye bye